morning. We are Josh and Ashley from The Way Away and we travel full time. So we thought we'd make a video for those of you who have never used Airbnb because we've used over 60 Airbnbs within the last two years. We've had great luck actually with Airbnb, but I think it has to do with a lot of the tips that we can give you today. So for those of you who have never used Airbnb, it is a website that you can go to and on the website you can find places to stay all around the world. Um, there are different ways to individualize. There are ways on the website to specify what you want and what you're looking for and today we are going to share with you how to do that. One of the reasons that we like to use Airbnb is that oftentimes the people who list a room or a location on Airbnb are individuals. They're small businesses or it's just the owner of the property, whatever the case may be. Right. So you get sort of a personalized experience. You don't just stay at a hotel or a hostel. In fact, one of the advantages of an Airbnb over a hotel or a hostel oftentimes is, well, the cost. So um, for two people, because we travel as a couple, to stay mm -hmm. at a hostel, is oftentimes as expensive as it is to get a whole Airbnb. At hostels, they charge per bed. Two people, I don't know, 15 to 20 euro each per bed. Right. You're up into 40 euro. And that could be as much of a, as an Airbnb one night. Also with a hotel, a lot of times you have to pay, if you want laundry service, um, you, you generally tip people as you go around. Or park your car. Or park your car. Ballet. It's often just plain old expensive. Yeah. And you don't have a kitchen, you have to eat out. Um, so a hotel can really get up in price. Whereas with an Airbnb, sometimes, you know, if you do your research, you can find a place with a parking space, mm -hmm. with a kitchen, with laundry. A washing and, machine. And yeah. just privacy. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. For those of you who have never heard of or used Airbnb before, you may have some fears or wonder, you know, is it safe? Is it something that you can use? Is it something that you would feel safe using? And from our experience, it's been really great. Totally. We've only had two times where um, it hasn't been the best and we could have helped that. So I'll explain some tips and tricks um, of how you can avoid those situations and actually have the best stay through an Airbnb. With over 60 bookings, Ashley has figured out pretty much the best way to go about this and how to ensure that you're gonna have a good experience. On Airbnb, you can choose the location you're going to go to. That is usually my number one first thing that I do. The second thing would be that I would go for how many people are coming. Usually it's just Josh and I, but currently we have three people, so we're going to need a larger space. The third thing is that I set the price as my, I set the highest price per night. Um, that you're willing to pay. Yeah, because the hard thing is, is if you look through all the houses, mm -hmm. you'll find amazing ones that you would love to stay at, but they're completely out of your price range. So before looking through the houses, definitely set those different things, the date, how many people, and the price, because otherwise you'll be looking at beautiful mansions that you'll be so sad that you can't stay at later. Especially that the date there usually, you know, is like, what, in Tokyo, 10,000 listings. Mm -hmm. But if you're staying only two weeks from now, only a hundred of those might be available to you. But you don't know that unless you set the date in there immediately when you get onto the site. Now, Ashley does most of the booking, but I've been on there a little bit myself to help out now and again. And one of the things that I've done, and I know she does all the time, is you can go through the amenities that you would like to have or need to have, and you can check those as search options as well. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we basically need to have is Wi-Fi, internet yeah. access. So you can check that as a necessary required amenity for your search results. And oftentimes we'll also message the host and say, hey, can you do a speed test and tell us how fast it is because we're uploading giant files. Um, but you can do other things. You can specify like, I need a dishwasher mm -hmm. or I need a laundry or um, kitchen. A kitchen. Can you do like a parking? Is parking an amenity? Yeah, okay. It is. There you go. So, yeah, so lots of parking. different things that you can specify if you need to have it. Or if you're unsure, maybe you look through the photos and you're like, hey, that looks like a driveway. Maybe you can just message the host and say, hey, is there parking available? Yeah. Oftentimes, they'll at least know of a service nearby, even if it's not included with the listing itself. Another important thing when looking at listings is to go to the very bottom where they have reviews. 
Some houses may not have reviews because they're new to the site. I don't strongly suggest you guys going for those houses and I do suggest you always look at these reviews and read them carefully. Along with that, if you do stay at an Airbnb, always be sure to write a review, be honest in your review for the for those who are coming after you to know certain things about the Airbnb. A lot of times I'm very specific in it, like what I liked about the Airbnb, uh -huh. what I, um, what maybe like if the shower head is really like dribbly and doesn't come out on, yeah. like things like that. Just um, so that you know what to expect and so that people yeah. reading your review know what to expect in the future. Another thing that you can specify in your search results, something that Airbnb has recently rolled out is what they call a super host. A host that is super, it's just what it sounds like. Basically it's a host that goes above and beyond and does a really, really good job of providing a place to stay. In order to qualify for being a super host, you have to have like 90% positive ratings within 24 hours of the booking being over. Um, you have to have 10 bookings within a year. So basically you have to be active and have very, very good community feedback. Oftentimes these hosts will go above and beyond in specific areas like they'll leave snacks on the counter, wine in the fridge, yeah. bread, and like other essential cooking items just around the house. Things that make it really easy to have a good stay and sometimes little extras that are just like, wow, that was so cool. Super hosts are a great way to ensure that you're gonna have a good stay. One of the things we really appreciate about Airbnb is that they have a whole process of if you invite your friends or tell your friends about Airbnb, you get credit. And for us, it's super important because we live in Airbnbs. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so through our channel, so many people have signed up for Airbnb. If you've done that, we really appreciate it. Sure. Um, they give you a link that's specific to you. If you send it to your friends, then you, I think, you get $20 at most if somebody mm -hmm. goes on a trip. Um, and then if someone signs up as an Airbnb host, I think it's around $40 credit. Ooh. But the cool thing is, is that not only are we getting the credit, but you're getting the credit. So when you book for your very first time, you're getting, I think 20 to $40, I think it's $40 off your first booking, um, which is really amazing. I think that Josh and I signed up under both of our emails so that we could get that $40 off each In the day. beginning, yeah. Yeah, when we first started using it. And I suggest, you know, it's a good way for you guys to get $80 off mm. two different stays. Um, as well as if you use our link down below, we get benefits from that. So if you're interested or if you at some point in your life are interested in using Airbnb, sure. use our link down below right now to go do it. It costs nothing to sign up, but once you're signed up, once you have that, um, what account? is it? Account. Yeah, once you have that account, then you can use it at any time. Mm -hmm. And if, say you use it three years from now, we'll get credit three years from now, which is really cool. And can't you go through and like, shoot, like pick places that you want to stay and like hit the save button? Yeah. Like save it for like, like ooh, that'd be like dream stays or whatever? They do have a feature like that and I have like four or five, <laughs> maybe even more. Um, I albums of oh, my yeah. favorite places that I would love to stay. But yeah, I, I hope that this helped you guys um, learn more about Airbnb. We really do, like we use this every day. Genuinely. We wouldn't bring these kind of things to you guys unless we believe in them and mm -hmm. um, we use them constantly. This is not a sponsored video mm -hmm. by no means. Um, the affiliate link would really help um, or will really help. We are headed to Asia soon and we are so excited to see what kind of Airbnbs we can stay in there yeah. um, and share each one with you guys. So if you have uh, vacations coming up for spring or summer that you think you're gonna be doing, instead of booking a hotel, maybe think ahead and be like, ah, it'd be really nice to have yeah. a home to stay in. So check out Airbnb. Our link is in the description. If it's your first time using it, you get a discount on Airbnb and we also get a little bit of credit. So awesome. it helps everybody out and you get a really cool and unique place to stay hopefully. So I hope you guys have some vacation plans or whatever and yeah. that you use our link. <laughs> if you have any further questions, please put them in the link like down below and I'll be more than happy to um, answer them. I have learned so much through booking so many Airbnbs and I am happy to share with you my wisdom <laughs> from all the experience we have. I hope we encourage you to get out and travel today, use an Airbnb, um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.